I know I admit this ultra glamorous thirst trap soundbar life, but if you're under the impression that I can buy all of these soundbar systems off just your soundbar likes and giggles, think again, buddy. This welfare channel is very much cleaving to the largesse of my real job. And my real job requires gear. Not that gear, I wouldn't wanna unsoft my hands. I'm talking hardcore work from home, pummeling your competition, teleconferencing kind of gear. Anchorwork contacted me and requested that I review their new S600 speakerphone. After reading the email, I looked down at two mainstays sitting on my overcrowded desk, a speakerphone, and a separate magnetic phone charging stand. I thought, well, it's a bit on the nose, but I'll bite. And yes, both of these items were purchased well before this video. Conspiracy theorist. There is a reason I was interested in this product. I'm going to cut in here and say this speakerphone has some AI witchy magic stuff happening. And I can prove it. You'll want to stick around for that. So why did Anchorwork make this product? Well, five reasons were whispered in my ear. One, life is noisy and you can't always control it. It would be nice if your speakerphone could do that for you. Two, charging your phone on a stand while using the charging stand as a speaker and mic may be the kind of multifunctionality you've been looking for. Three, we don't necessarily take conference calls at a desk. Maybe you want to close that major deal in the kitchen for some tasty snacking slash competition crushing double tasking. Four, speaker phones are fugly. That's a low blow, but technically correct. Five, you need to start meetings faster. Include some automation niftiness and you can start a better sounding meeting faster. Let's jump in with design and build talk. It's certainly taller than the majority of speaker phones, but has a smaller footprint. All the materials you can touch are high quality, including the plastic and this 360 degree acoustic cloth. I did sense the LED lights were a bit bright, so I was happy to find that they can be turned off when not active in the Anchorwork app. The S600 has a reassuring heft, but otherwise it's compact and extremely grabbable for around the house use, and it's generally portable if you wanna take it on a road trip. Minor tip, if you're gonna grab it, grab it from the top. Otherwise, you will inadvertently push all the buttons. Ignore me at your own peril. So let's talk the charger on top. It supports the new 15 watt Qi 2 standard. At this time, it seems to be only compatible with MagSafe iPhones, MagSafe cases, and Qi 2 cases. With these cases, it means Android folks can buy compatibility along with their phone. Hopefully, Samsung decides to support the Qi 2 standard on their S25s. The magnetic connection is strong, similar to MagSafe, assisting in a more efficient energy transfer. But don't be afraid to take your phone for a spin. The charger hinge has 70 degrees of travel, ranging from flush with the top to, well, this. The hinge is surprisingly sturdy, so it will stay at the angle you want, even with a heavy phone. I haven't noticed any loosening over my weeks of testing. I am declaring the charging stand component of this whole contraption legit. Let's talk mics. A goal with the S600 is to make your voice sound more consistent, adjusting for both the volume of your voice and your distance from the speaker. To make it happen, there is a four mic array with an over the top 49 kilohertz sampling rate. So let's take a listen to both the Anchorwork S600 and my pre-existing Jabra Speak 750 as I walk a 360 around my kitchen island and check out the automatic volume balance feature. So let's see what it sounds like as I walk around the kitchen. First, I'll just go around the island. All right, at zero degrees, moving to 90 degrees, still talking, going to 180 degrees, talking and walking, 270 degrees, and back to 360. So let's see what it sounds like as I walk around the kitchen. First, I'll just go around the island. All right, at zero degrees, moving to 90 degrees, still talking, going to 180 degrees, talking and walking, 270 degrees, and back to 360. All right, I'm going to walk away over here to the living room, and I'm going to continue talking and do a little bit of dancing and dancing and talking. There's going to be a lot of circular motions with my arms and some light thrusting, very light, 
It is a family channel. Okay, I think that's probably about fancy for today. So I'm gonna come back now. I'm still talking normal, talking normal. And I'm back. I would say both speakerphones do a decent job of not making it sound like I'm walking around. Though the S600 does seem to differentiate itself more in terms of voice volume normalization. Bottom line, it's clear that you can talk in a fairly wide range of volumes and be heard clearly. I'll admit I'm a little split on this voice volume adjusting feature. Half of me likes the idea that I can stand up and walk around and it not be super obvious to others on the call. My more traditional half is saying, variation in voice volume is normal and important in terms of communicating tone. So let me handle the volume changes on my own. I'm a big boy. My practical third half says, let me toggle this functionality as needed. So moving away from volume, how about those unwanted background noises? You got two technology layers for filtering out every sound other than your dulcet tones. First, Voice Radar version 3.5 is an AI model that has been trained on 20,000 recordings and AnchorWork claims it can identify and reduce 300 noises. So eating noises, that's a big win. Typing, lawn mowers, all powered by their professional grade NPU chip. Yes, headphones are able to knock these noises out, but speaker phones, that's not so normal. So let's compare the AnchorWork S600 with its Voice Radar capability to the Jobber Speak 750. And talking, tapping, and talking, and talking, tapping, and talking, typing, and talking, and typing, and talking, typing, and talking, and typing, and talking. I'm typing and sound when I'm talking like this. It'll just record my voice, my voice. Just record my voice. Crazy, huh? Okay, clearly the S600 is unbelievably, undeniably more effective at filtering out all kinds of noises. Freaky voodoo AI noise filtering spells and bells, for sure. No more shall your coworkers be bothered by your typing, crunching, knocking, and crumpling when you forget to go on mute. This is quite the marvel for a speakerphone. So huge thumbs up on meeting your claims, but again, there's no way to turn this feature off. So. What if I want to crunch passive aggressively? How much longer will I have the freedom to make rude, annoying noises on phone calls? The second line of noise filtering defense. The AnchorWorks engineers have had one too many awkward family moments take center stage on a conference call. To help out, they added voice print recognition, which is a technology that can learn your voice and only your voice and filter those less helpful voices like Let's say when your wife storms into your office and proclaims she can't stop thinking about how devastatingly handsome you are. It's embarrassing every time. Can't she just wait until after the meeting? You create your voice print in the app. You will be asked to read in a quiet space. Anchor Work does mention the voice print will be stored and processed locally on the S600. It's up to you to make your own privacy judgment. You should not be able to hear her. Okay. You should be able to hear me. Don't hear me. Don't hear her. Only don't hear, me. hear me. Don't hear her. I don't want to be. You should not be able to hear her. You should be able to hear me. Don't hear her. Only hear me. Don't hear her. She just is thirsty for fame. No. Look at that. No. Fame monster no. over there. I'm being very okay. supportive. Okay, yeah, she's being very supportive. No. No. Spooky, hair raising, WTFing, AI shit. It totally works. It's a crazy cool feature to have. You can toggle it on and off, both on the speaker and in the app. Next, the S600 should predict when you're gonna say something devastatingly embarrassing, either on accident or on purpose. A cautionary note. A few coworkers have noticed my voice cutting out when voice print recognition is active. This will probably improve over time as this is a pre-release. However, 
using this feature only when it's needed is probably a good practice. All right, so as this is a conference phone first product, it has the appropriate buttons like the phone answer end, volume controls, mute, and the voice print toggle. There is only one phone button, so a single tap will answer a call. To end a call, hold the button. The ring light on the bottom is a nice touch. Number one benefit, communicating mute state in a manner that is difficult to miss. The S600 is Zoom certified, though the integration I care most about is synchronization between mute button on the speakerphone and the teleconferencing service. You want the mute state on your speakerphone to reflect what other participants see in the software. And you want quick mute toggling access. On a recent Zoom meeting, there was no synchronization, which is strange as it is Zoom certified. Okay, I just learned that AnchorWork is planning to support Zoom mute synchronization by the end of March, 2024. Teams performed far better, though I could only get mute syncing to reliably work on my Mac using the software mute button and the S600 mute button when running Teams on my PC. Hopefully this is something AnchorWork plans to tighten up as well. I think 15 minutes is plenty of time. Efficient cooking is all about a well-stocked pantry. Pulling out little secret weapons that can kind of just elevate day-to-day -day normal ingredients. It's methods and techniques that you have at the ready. Damn, actually this is really good. Being able to whip something up quick, yeah, it's a, it's a good tool set that. The sound, well in comparison to my Jabra Speak 750 and my iPhone, it's night and day. There is significantly more low end, it's much creamier. You know, this speaker wants to make music sound good too. The Jabra sounds as though it's singularly focused on conference call voice intelligibility, which does not require attention across the frequency range. And it's not particularly pleasant sounding, but voices do come through well and clear. On the S600, the voices are darn near cinematic by comparison with far more low end presence which I'd say is a nice aesthetic improvement that neither assists nor degrades vocal intelligibility. If you're more interested in the media playback possibilities than the call functionalities, I think you're in good standing. It's easily audible from across the room at any angle as it's a 360 speaker. It's reasonably clear, there's low distortion, and it has a bit of punch. It's a dramatic enhancement over your phone audio if that's what you're typically settling for. The S600 is a solid option for enhancing either your phone or conference speaker sound, whether glued to your chair or moving from room to room, no doubt. Closing thoughts. My primary interest question about the S600 is, can it replace my phone charging stand and my speaker phone? Yes, and it saves space. I'm upbeat about the sound upgrade and being able to change the angle of my charging stand. And yes, I find the futuristic, irrelevant sound suppressing technology useful, as my kid does have a tendency to barge in and monologue and play the drums. If you think this form factor fits your needs or might make a good gift, maybe you're looking to move away from a headset, I'd suggest you put this in your purchase matrix. Please consider helping me reach my 40,000 subscriber goal by 2025 because I'm having fun watching my wife get a little nervous about how famous I am. Wrapping this up, catch you on the next one.